for one. Wait, isn't your son five months old? Who told you? I just know these things. Oh. Build whatever meal you want with favorites on McDonald's new one, two, three dollar menu. Now serving at your new Smyrna Beach McDonald's. Well, let me see, 834 on your Thursday morning right here from the great voice of Volusia County. Yep, that's us, AM 1230, AM 1490, and even on FM now, 106.9. And every Thursday morning, we focus on the lifestyle of our seniors right here in Volusia County. And the host of our show is Tom Monlock. Good morning, Tom. How you doing? Hey, good morning, Skip. Everything going good with you? Doing great. Yep. Out hey. there uh, help, helping people. Well, I like that. Oasis Senior Advisors. What a fabulous organization. Before you get to your guests, let's talk about that for a minute. How's everything going? Well, it's, it's great. You know, we're, we're out there. Part of, uh, you know, our, our purpose is to help people, older people and their families in particular, who are looking for assisted living. Uh, and we can offer that service free. And people say, wait a minute, free, you know, um, what's what's free about? And uh, so we can offer it free because the assisted living community pays us a placement fee. Okay. Well, you know, one of the nice things I like about the way you work is uh, everybody thinks they know what mom or dad or the loved one that needs assisted living wants. But you really sit down and talk with the people themselves and find out daughter says it was food. The the son said it was activity and you really find out she wants friends. Well that's right. I mean it's it's a kind of four four issues for me that I try to try to understand. Uh, <clears throat> one of them is location and that's okay, always sure, important in sure. any kind of living arrangement. And uh another one is uh of course the services, like you said, you know, the the meals, the the mm-hmm. program. Um, and then cost is always, of, of course, a factor. Um, and then culture, and that's the one that people don't think about so much, but it's the environment that, that, they, that they can live in, and these communities vary considerably from one to the other. Okay. What number can somebody reach you at or a website? Well, 386-275-2503. And, by the way, just a little plug, on March the 27th, we're pulling a team together who is um, – uh, and and the topic is help. I need to pay for <laughs> assisted living, <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna bring some help to them. It's at Grace Manor over in Port Orange at yeah. five o'clock, and yeah. we're gonna have a an attorney, and we're gonna have a financial planner. Um, we're gonna have a realtor, and we're gonna have a um, someone who helps with transitions and moving and those kinds of things. And so it'll be a nice team of people, free of charge, to come and uh, and just uh, learn about strategies for help how can i pay for assisted living we know a lot of people when they think about assisted living they say oh no i don't want that but then when they get there they find out it's the best of their life well that's it you know and and you're right and and you know so that's a great lead in skip to our guest this morning uh we have anthony ford with plan life care with us good morning anthony good morning well thank you for having me uh, good, good to have somebody from East Florida join us. Uh, yeah. wait a minute. Probably not. So uh, I, I think you're from somewhere else originally. Yes. Originally. Yes. I, yeah. I, I often say to people, I'm from the deep South <laughs> of England. <laughs> the deep South of England. Um, and the reason that it's so, so good to talk to you this morning is, you know, you are, you are part of that plan, uh, for people who want to Stay, stay at home for as long as they can, but may not be able to stay there, uh, you know, forever. And so tell us a bit about um, what Plan Life Care is. Well, Plan Life Care is in-home care, mm-hmm. basically. So uh, we go in and we consult with the family, see, produce a care plan, and we plan for all those activities, that um, they, those daily activities that the uh, person would need. Hmm. So it's that helping hand. It's the alternative or interim care. Uh, mm-hmm. Before, if someone wants to stay in their home, that's what we do. Yeah, and tell us a bit about about the the name that plan life care. Um, I, I think it's pretty intentional, right? Uh, yes, it's very intentional. Um, my uh, job role prior to getting involved in this industry was as project manager. Um, I'm very firm believer in putting in place good, solid plans in order to carry out the right level of care. So that's the plan part. Mm -hmm. The life care is the service we provide. So we we provide care so you can carry on your life, Mm -hmm. just allowing people to be safe and secure in their own homes. Well, and and that planful part, 
it, uh, seems to be so important. And it also can, and we'll learn more about this as, as we talk this morning, but you know, people are always wondering, well, what are the services I'm going to get and, and how much are they going to, going to cost? So that whole notion of, well, let's sit down and make a plan about this, right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, it starts off with talking with all the family members. You want everyone to be on board and know that this is a safe way of uh, helping the seniors stay in their home. Uh, so I use an RN uh, as part of that process, registered nurse, mm-hmm. um, to produce a solid care plan, what we're going to do day in and day out as we're in the house. Well, you know, and we're going to hear a lot more about this. Just really excited to have you here this morning, Anthony. Uh, We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to learn a whole lot more about planned life care. This is State Representative Tom Leake. When we are in Tallahassee for session or committee meetings, stay tuned to AM 1230 and AM 1490 for updated information. WSBP. From your WSBB 2020 Volusia County Newsroom, I'm Amy Ryan. A school safety bill is now headed for the governor after final passage in the Florida legislature last night. Our Rick Flagg has more. There was plenty of opposition to the school safety package. Representative Evan Jenny says the school marshal program is the most troubling part. To be honest, it, it points, reads like the rough first draft uh, of a Steven Seagal movie, that somehow the cafeteria lady is going to spring into action Uh, and save everything as if it's some sort of action film. Most members of the Black Caucus oppose the bill because they don't want guns in school and don't think it will do anything to reduce gun violence in minority neighborhoods. It was also opposed by many of the conservatives who are staunch supporters of the NRA. Rick Flagg, Tallahassee. This Volusia County 2020 News Update is brought to you by Volusia Eye Associates, providing medical and surgical eye care. Advanced surgical care, local convenience. Hi, I'm Dr. Hank Routh. Our clinic has provided care at our location to the people of Southeast Volusia for over 30 years. I have brought the latest surgical techniques to the practice, including dropless cataract surgery and the eye stent device that cures glaucoma and cataracts with a single surgery. If you would like more information about these procedures, please call Volusia Eye Associates at 386-427-4143. Trusco Bank has hometown checking with free online banking, free debit card, and free use of over 55,000 ATMs worldwide. It's the right time to move to Trusco. Go to truscobank.com for details. Your hometown bank, Trusco. Member FDIC. Question. Do you know the best place for ink and toner? Well, Cebu Office Supply has ink and toner in stock for just about any printer. Also, Cebu is the home of the Cebu Ink Card, where you can receive $10 off your qualified purchase. Stop by Cebu for details. Come on, shop local. And with Cebu, you can save money on pens, pencils, paper clips, desk organizers, file folders. You needed quick copies printed just like that. Cebu on Canal Street, that great street in the heart of the new Smyrna Beach shopping district. We'd like to see you at Cebu. Yeah, I still got it. When considering assisted living, it's important your needs are met now. But more importantly, we'll meet your needs in the future, allowing for an easy transition. Rose can help you find that place. Assistant living made simple. Contact Rose. Contact Rose. Call 386-847-2322. Need a mortgage? Compare and save. Trusco Bank offers a variety of low-cost mortgages that are right for you with friendly personal service. That's made Trusco one of the area's top mortgage lenders. Visit TruscoBank.com for details. Trusco! Equal housing lender. NMLS 474376. Well, welcome back. This is Tom Monlock with Focus on Senior Lifestyles. And we have with us this morning Anthony Ford with Plan Life Care. And uh, Anthony's been telling us a little bit about um, his business, how he got into it, and uh, and a little bit about his strategies for developing that plan. So continue on with the plan and how you go about that planning process with the people that you're working with, Anthony. Well, the critical thing is to involve all of the family. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we like to bring all the family in, including the, the senior. Uh, we don't want any mysteries or anything, you know, anyone off, the, you know, off the plan, as it were. I bring in my RN, who's incredibly experienced at analyzing uh, what the care needs are 
and we produce that plan. And then later on, when we're providing the service, the plan is directly traceable to the care logs mm. so that any of my uh, CNAs, any of my caregivers that come in can mm -hmm. n knows exactly what they need to do. I see. Yeah. So, um, so what's what is the role of the person being served in that plan? I mean, I mean, obviously they're the focus of the plan. Um, when they're able, um, are they active in developing that plan as well? Oh, absolutely. I yeah. mean, that's very critical mm -hmm. uh, that you involve everyone, including mm -hmm. the person who's going to receive the care. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if someone has very advanced uh, dementia or Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. then their input is certainly considered. Mm -hmm. um, but you, you would talk as much to the family members. But certainly everyone being on board, especially the person who's going to receive the service, is critical. Yeah. Well, one of the things that, that um, will be uh, is really uh, useful to know about is um, what uh, makes you different. You know, there there are a lot of um, home care companies out there, and a lot, a lot of good ones, certainly in the area. Talk a little bit about how you feel like you differentiate uh, in your services. Well, first of all, I came into this industry in perhaps not manner, so I was looking for care for my mother. Mm -hmm. And I very much wanted to keep her in the home environment. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I talked to uh, various other people who are now my competition. Um, and I didn't, I didn't think they offered the range of services that was required, mm -hmm. certainly in my mother's case. And so being the project manager, I took hold of that and decided to plan it for myself. And I put the care in place for my, mo my mother while I was doing my previous job. And I just got a tremendous sense of satisfaction mm -hmm. in getting my loved one cared for, setting up the right routines, setting up the right level of care, and placing her in the right environment. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. some of the other work I did was also uh, changing the house a little bit mm -hmm. uh, for, to the adaptation work that I mm -hmm. also do, which isn't mm -hmm. commonly offered. Mm -hmm. Things like People commonly think grab bars, ramps. It's a lot more than that, but just making the environment safe as well. You know, it would be, would be good to go into that a little bit uh, here this morning because that is always a concern for particularly the adult children who may be living at a distance. And they might not even be aware of the condition of the home because they haven't been there in a while or things have changed. So how is it that you address that issue of home safety and and also the communication to family members about what it is that you're doing well you can do a home assessment safety assessment mm -hmm. you can make a lot of changes uh very good meaningful changes for mm -hmm. safety mm -hmm. uh without spending a lot of money and without turning the house into a facility so <laughs> things that are useful for the senior but also very good ideas for the house in general an example is a zero entry shower so that it's very easy for anyone to get in the shower but especially someone who has their mobility compromised or the balance compromised say more about a zero entry shower it's basically instead of the traditional setup where you have to step into the bathtub it's it's removing that area so that someone can walk into the bath on a, basically a flat surface, also paying okay. attention to the surface materials, making sure they're non-slip, and you put in things like grab bars. Grab bars don't have to be ugly. There's some fabulous designs that are out there that are great. Towel mm. rails are not grab bars, but you can make a grab bar look like a towel rail. <laughs> so it's, uh, and then if there is a slip or fall or someone needs steadying, it's a very safe um device to use to stop them slipping well you know most of our listeners are sitting at home right now and uh what what have you found to be the number one safety concern for people at home as you have gone about what you do well the um you have to look at the whole environment but huh. if i had to choose one it, it's always the bathroom accessibility for the bathroom um, safety while in the bathroom. So many of these lovely tiles that we have become very slippery when wet. Yeah. Uh, so you have to choose the materials carefully. Mm -hmm. um, but then just looking at what happens if, um, you know, removing sharp edges, those mm -hmm. sliding doors that are often um, part of the tub mm -hmm. and shower arrangement, 
can be very tricky because they raise up the lip of the bath and they're also quite sharp if someone falls against them and they're not going to stop someone falling. You'll fall through them. Yeah. So it's, it's, uh, the bathroom is probably the main area to look at. You know, these days, uh, you know, many uh, people have cell phones and uh, I heard a story recently about someone who fell in the bathroom, but fortunately she had her cell phone with her and was able to call for, for help as a result. Uh, uh, so do you have systems to address that? Yes. Uh, one of the things I, I love to use is a medical alert device. Um, mm-hmm. I have a very specific one. It's actually a pretty new product made by a Florida company. Um, it's waterproof, so they could wear it in the shower. It has a fall detector. It actually functions to some extent like a cell phone as well. If there's a fall detected, it sends out mm-hmm. a fall alert. They can also, it's got an SOS button that they can press that alerts predetermined numbers and also gives locational information. And the family members can know where their loved one is at any time and talk to their loved one at any time. It's like a waterproof speakerphone to some extent. And that is just so terrific. Well, we're going to take a break. Um, and when we come back, Anthony, I'd like to talk some about the people because, you know, you've got. In, in, in a service like yours, it's really about who the people are and the, and the services that they're able to deliver on behalf of, of, your, of your company. So we'll be right back to talk more about that. Daytona Beach is turning on to financial advice from Dave Ramsey. Andrew is with us in Daytona Beach, Florida. Hi, Andrew. How are you? Hey, Dave. Doing great. And yourself? Better than I deserve. It's your dough, and you should know what to do with it. Join Dave Ramsey weekday afternoons 4 to 6 for financial advice that makes sense only on the station's up. WSBB. Get your new Ram right here at New Smyrna Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, where it's Ram Truck Month. And we have the best deals in our entire Ram inventory. Get the best price on a regular cab work truck for as little as $19,999. Need a little more room? Then drive away in a Ram quad cab starting at just $23,899. Or get into a Ram crew cab starting at $25,899. Get the best price and selection in Florida during our Ram Truck Month at New Smyrna Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Your little cheaper dealer. Tucked into the corner of Granada Boulevard and Halifax Drive sits the Ormond Beach Memorial Art Museum and Gardens. This historic garden on two and a half acres transports you to a lush tropical oasis. Paths lead to the art museum with continually changing exhibits of all styles and types of artwork. This creative community offers a variety of classes and educational programs for every age and interest. Ormond Beach Memorial Art Museum and Gardens. Stroll. Discover. Create. Remember. For more information on upcoming events and exhibits, log on to ormondartmuseum.org. The sweetest little old ladies can do the craziest things. One would never suspect these adorable souls were capable of such things as pouring arsenic-laced elderberry wine to their lonely borders and boodles of bodies buried in the basement. For nearly a hundred years, America's favorite gothic farce, Arsenic and Old Lace, is at the Athens Theater through March 18th. Arsenic and Old Lace, Laughter, Suspense, and Family Insanity. Tickets available online at AthensDeland.com or call 736-1500. Introducing Surgical Advances. Volusia Eye Associates is now offering dropless cataract surgery and the eye stent device with all care provided in New Smyrna Beach by Dr. Hank Routh. Dropless cataract surgery eliminates the need for irritating expensive drops after surgery, allowing for a more comfortable recovery. Additionally, the eye stent placed during cataract surgery can eliminate the need for glaucoma drops in many patients with this disease. For more information, please visit our website, volusiaeye.com, or call to schedule your consultation. 386-427-4143. Advanced Surgical Care. Local convenience at Volusia Eye Associates. (laughs) 
Well, welcome back to Focus on Senior Lifestyles. Uh, this is Tom Monlock. I'm your host here. And we're continuing our conversation with Anthony Ford with Plan Life Care. And uh, Anthony, let's talk a bit now about your people. Um, because, of course, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, it's that relationship that is formed between the caregiver or caregivers and the client, the person being served. Um, what is it that you do to help make that successful in your company? Well, first of all, I very much take a uh, point of view of mutual respect. Mm-hmm. Um, I always say to my caregivers, you don't work for me, you work with me. Um, I look for very particular type of person. I incentivize them in unique ways. I have them all as employees. Most mm-hmm. agencies have them as contractors. Uh, so I make that commitment to work with them, to uh, provide benefits, and uh, to really hire the best people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's a very important point that you make about the employment relationship you have. Talk just a little bit about the difference between employing versus contracting and how our listeners uh, can become aware of that if they're looking for home care. Well, first of all, um, if, if for, in order for people to provide the best service, they have to feel safe and secure with the company they're working with. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the proper employment rate, um, method, the W-2 employment, is a commitment from the company to the person, mm-hmm. and you're looking for that commitment to be returned. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas a contractor can go anywhere, can do anything, could be working for multiple companies. Um, they might drop in and out of working for a certain client. They might just disappear and do something else. Where a W-2 employee is committed to the company and the company is committed to them. It takes on a lot more responsibilities, more costs, uh, but the net result is a much better level of care. The incentives that you provide to your employed staff. Well, um, what I do, for example, is offer specific bonuses um, that someone can qualify for um, every hour they work mm-hmm. so that they can get this bonus by doing the right thing, turning up on time, exiting the shift at the right time, doing a great job while they're there. And the, the, my caregivers know that. Mm-hmm. And I write the, the contract, the employment contract, in a very specific way mm-hmm. so that um, good caregivers read through it and think, I'd be doing that anyway. This is free money, and I want that attitude. Mm-hmm. Um, bad caregivers read through it and say, this is way too complex. What, why are you making it so difficult? Mm-hmm. So that's one way I differentiate with very specific bonuses for doing the right thing. Make a brief comment, if you would, about the uh, maybe the, one of the key characteristics that you would be looking for in a caregiver. Well, very early on, obviously, I'm looking for them to like that kind of bonus arrangement. But the most critical thing is what I call shine, Mm. care shine. Mm. There's certain types of people where this job is a calling to them. So I look for that. I ask them very specific questions during the interview process. And I, I, for example, one I, I commonly ask is describe a situation where you felt you made a difference. And I look for that care shine, mm. is what I call it, where they a smile that they know they did a good job for that, for that previous client. And that, I look very much for that. And it's kind of turned into a methodology for how I approach the management of the company. Well, Anthony, uh, very impressive. Uh, love hearing more about uh, your, your company, uh, Plan Life Care. Tell our listeners how they can reach you if they would like to talk more with you about your services. Well, I have my direct office number is 386-968-1920. They can call me during office hours. I have a 24-hour number as well. I have my website, planlifecare.com. There's lots of information on there. And um, reach out to me at any time, any questions you have, because... Um, even if I'm very focused on putting people into the right and care environment. So if I don't necessarily offer the services, I will refer to someone who does. Well, thank you so much for being here this morning. Uh, That's a wrap. Focus on Senior Lifestyles, Tom Monlock, your host. Make it a great day.
What a great program, Tom. Focus on Senior Lifestyles every Thursday morning on our Focus program right here from AM 1230, AM 1490. Holy moly, we got to make way now for the latest news, news you need to know from the CBS Radio Network. Following that, our very own Heather Zare. She's in the Weather Center. And, of course, on our turntables, the best music, bar none of any radio station. 4 o'clock this afternoon, it's your dough, and you ought to know what to do with it. Yep, Dave Ramsey will tell you right here on the radio. We are the stations of WSBB, locally owned, community focused. AM 1230 WSBB, New Smyrna Beach. AM 1490 WTG.